Hello everybody, Slash and VC here. We're playing Cataclysm. This is Mark Crump. He's a food person, superhero, the Dark Knight Rises. I still can't speak without my face. That's where we left off the last episode as I started to uh, uh, kind of uncover a dark conspiracy theory about why Mark has no face. I thought he was hallucinating that he had no face. Um, but I'm starting to think that they modified his face to make him a food person. And it ties in with the mask somehow. We're going to figure that out this episode. Another thing we're going to do this episode is we're going to go drop all these guns off. We're going to unload our inventory, which is pretty getting a little bit full from all the looting. We're going to finish killing these zombies between us and the restaurant that is overrun with cockroaches. It should be an exciting episode. I want to have a quick look at this gun that I picked up. I think this is going to be my preferred gun, just because it does so much damage. So let's look at this. Uh, okay, the M18 was our favorite gun. Uh, because it uses 9 by 19 This is a much bigger round on this weapon right here. Uh, okay, so the range damage is 52. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's a German battle rifle with a 13-inch barrel and a telescopic stock. Gas-operated, rotating bolt rifle with a short-stroke piston design similar to that of the G36. And uh, let's see, it's got some modifications, I think. Uh... Oh, examine, page down, no, examine, use the mouse, no, grab this with the mouse, here we go, uh, it's got a full auto fire mode, if I wanted to use that, five round makeshift magazine, it uses all kind of different magazine types, and the accessory, it said plus one, ah, adjustable stock, doesn't have a sling, I need to put the sling on this one. I think the other, I think our other gun may have a sling. I'm not sure. If not, we need to make one. Uh, it can be. F this firearm is in need of repair. Oh, damn. Really? Damaged gun. Fouling. Fouling is caused by firing gunpowder loads repeatedly, reduces reliability, and eventually causes damage to the gun. to work on our gunsmithing all right but for now we need to get the gun home and then we need to come back down here and clear out these zombies so we're going to take our retreat path this should safely lead us right back home and i'm retreating immediately because i can only carry this gun and therefore i can't carry batrick redux <clears throat> 51 tiles to the northeast. Uh -huh. And I think we can take the cloak off because we're out during the day. What time is it? 2 p.m.? Yeah, we can take the cloak off and I don't think we'll get cold. That'll reduce our encumbrance. We get some of these items out of our backpack and take the sling, slung items off, which will reduce our encumbrance. That'll make us all the more deadly with Patrick Redux. All right, dropping here. We'll drop that gun. I didn't realize it was a broken gun. That's too bad. I don't think we need... Do we need any of the guns? Uh, no, I don't think we need any of the guns right now. So I'm just going to drop them. Combat knife we probably don't need either, but it seems to go in a sheath for us, I think. So we've got an adjustable wrench, dented crowbar. I don't think we're going to need the crowbar for anything. We've got rubber hoses for siphoning gasoline later. We've got a talking doll distraction. we got a bunch of food that needs to go in the refrigerator. Malted milk balls. Uh, we've got these favorited items. We don't need the inhaler, the pink tabs, the melatonin tablets, the rolling tobacco, the alcohol wipes, or anything. Alpha male quarterly will keep the cash card. We don't need the rolling tobacco. We picked up a ton of liquid soap. A ton of soap. So this is going to come in. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Is it? Okay, this is the actual liquid. These are the bottles that hold the liquid okay then I want to have a look at the first aid box so in my inventory if I check out the first aid box and I do that to look inside of it huh oh here we go it's got oh six adhesive bandages three bandages medical gauze and more painkillers and stuff okay so what I'm going to do is, I did this for a reason, I can drop the first aid box over there in the unload area, 
And then I think when I do O, I can unload nearby containers, which should sort everything out like that. And then I can sort my loot again, which will put all of the things from the first aid box basically where they go. Okay. Now that my medical stuff should have arrived over here. Yep, adhesive bandages arrived over here. Let's go ahead and grab our alcohol wipes. And um, where's those other bandages? We may have to search for them because we're starting to get a lot of stuff over here. Yeah, let's do a search for that bandage. There. Or actual bandages. Don't really need them yet. But they're there. Now, as far as the noisemaker goes, I want to experiment with that. Um, we need to... I guess I'm going to throw the noisemaker where we've already got the nail traps, I think. Is what I'll do. But we'll just move them around a little bit and turn it into an attractive trap. We'll just see what happens with that. <clears throat> um, if we do... How do we find that noisemaker? Forgot I had a compound hunting bow. Okay. The noise emitter that I crafted is in that pile right there. Oop. There. Oh, we've got two of them because I picked one up. All right, I picked up a noise emitter. Now, that thing probably needs a battery. I'm guessing. Examine. So it's constructed by enhancing a speaker ripped off from some electronic device with some amplifier circuits. Oh, let's uh, start our timer. There we go. Try to keep it down to an hour. All right, the form factor is for an ultralight battery or a light battery. Okay, so we need to put a battery in that thing. We've got a bunch of batteries right here, I think. Let's see, where's our batteries go? Battery charger. Here we go. High capacity light battery, light disposable battery. Let's just take that battery right there and see if we can reload the noise emitter with it. Oh. Uh, there, that right there. Now we don't need the one I picked up. I forgot it'll actually reach out. There. Okay, our noise emitter now should have a battery in it. Yep, and 42 of 50 charges. Very good. We'll craft the one nail board trap. My legs are getting warm. So I'm going to take that cloak off next. Alright, we got that and it's on the table. But of course, uh... Yeah, okay. Let's take off the cloak. Can I just carry it in my inventory? I don't know how bulky it is. Uh, yeah. Got three liters of volume and weighs a pound. My backpack's total volume capacity is what? 18 liters? That's three of 18 liters. Mm, oh, now we need to wash the tool belt, do we? No, you know what? For right now, let's drop the tool belt and what's on it also. There. Oh, actually, the tools got sorted out of the belt. All right, that's going to be washed at some point, but I'm not doing that on camera. We'll do it off camera. What do we got over here? Okay, all my gun rounds and guns went over here, so I've still got all that. 5 by 7 by 28 or 5 by 7 by 28 uh, Springfield how do we put this into can we sort by E category selection mode um hmm Category. Well, I mean, it didn't really... Did it separate the... You, yeah, it separated the weapons from everything else. I guess, kind of. The H and K uses 762 by 51. So, I don't know. <clears throat> it's a whole separate point. Wheel, Batrick. And we need to assign Batrick an inventory letter again. That changed... When he, we recap, recrafted Batrick. Okay, so we still got our flashlight and everything. Yeah, it's about out of charge, but that's okay. Still got our multi-tool just for stuff. 
And I guess we'll drop the wool cloak here. Just to get that out of our inventory. Okay. Actually, you know what would be nice is to hang the wool cloak up on the um, hanger over here. This is going to be a thing. Can I examine? Change eye color, change skin color. Huh? Nothing that can be examined nearby. Drop onto here the wool cloak. Nah, doesn't exactly go on the dummy, does it? <laughs> oh, you don't put it on the dummy, dummy. You put it over here. If I drop the cloak on the coat rack, no, it doesn't exactly hang on the coat rack either. It must be a hat rack. All right, it's all good. By the way, since we eliminated that feral, I believe we can now walk out here and not get that warning. Yep, no feral human spotted. He has been eliminated from the equation. He was right up here. And we got him in the last episode. So that's one checked off our list. Oh, now we need to find out. Can I chat? No, I still don't have a face. Okay, let's go down here and see if we put on the uh, this right here. Let's take off my safety glasses and take off my helmet and then wear the uh, food person mask. Can I talk now? I can, yes, I can talk. You know what that means, folks? Oh my god, that's dark. That is so dark. That means that Mark has a special trait that I can't see when I pull up my character menu. That he can't talk unless he has a food person mask on. What did they do? Did they remove Mark's larynx or something? What did they do? Okay, so if we want to be able to chat with that NPC, we've got to bring this food person mask with us. If I take off the mask, hopefully it'll go in my inventory. Yeah, it did. Okay. Good. Wear the bike helmet, wear the safety glasses. So I'm going to have to put the food person mask on when we finally get down to the NPC. All right. I'm still a little warm, but I took the cloak off. Maybe I should cool down now. Uh, I didn't bring the nail board trap with me. Oh, well. Oh, no, that's in the way, but that's fine. Decayed zombie. All right. Let's get down here. Is this the way we want to go? Ah, this is the way the feral humans... Yeah, this is, because what we're going to do... This is where our nail board traps are. We're going to rearrange those nail board traps... And then throw the noise emitter on there. Decayed zombie spotted. Stop picking up. I didn't tell you to pick anything up. That was weird. Uh, so how do I get the noise emitter in there? This is an empty square, right? Right here? Yeah. So I think I'm going to throw the noise emitter right next to that tree. Activate. The noise emitter. How loud is it? That's a sound of 30. That's pretty darn loud. Now I'm going to drop it right over here. Right in that bunch of traps. Okay. Now let's clear out. And hopefully get out of here before the swarm hits. You guys just have fun with that noise emitter. I'm going around the other direction. I love how when I get farther away from it, it gets quieter. That's so cool. From the southwest, you hear... Ah, uh, zombie child's to the northeast. I think it probably won't even get onto us. We're going this way. Here's my question. Did everybody headed, anybody headed that way from this way? All right, I'm seeing the cockroach now. Uh... Uh, and and uh, okay, we got a brainless zombie on the other side of the car. Uh oh, looks like the cockroaches won the battle. Brainless zombie was too stupid to go down there and fight the cockroaches. I wonder how hostile they are to me. The cockroaches. Two cockroaches spotted. Uh, let's see. They can't see my current location. They will be hostile. One of them is wounded. The other one is not. All right. I'm going to kind of bear off in this direction here. Two cockroaches spotted. I'm going to go down here and kill this brainless. If 
feral human to the southwest. Got a zombie runner to my... Uh, he can see me and he's headed this way. He's not wounded either. Wait, zombie. No, he's a zombie. Where's the zombie runner at? Oh yeah, can he see me? He can't see me yet. And he's headed in the direction of the cockroaches, I think. Uh, that general direction, yeah. So from where I'm at behind this car... Not sure how to handle the cockroach situation. Feral human to the southwest. Alright, I'm going to step behind this car like this and hang out for a second. Now, if we get into combat, I guess I'll move toward those bushes. Actually, that house was a great combat spot for me. and it's uh, But it's kind of near that noisemaker. Could go over here to this park. Probably a decent spot to fight from also, because there should be some little things. Uh, let's see. Yeah, little benches to lure them over. That's a slide. What are these? Bollards. Concrete and steel bollards to harden against vehicle ram attacks. I got a bathroom right there. I don't know. I'm going to hang out by this car for a minute. See what develops. Okay, this zombie is still approaching me. This cockroach still can't see me. Now he's moving back into the restaurant, it appears. The runner can't see me, but I can see him. I like that. Zombie child can't see me, but I can see him. And they're both... They're headed in the direction of the restaurant. They're going to get tied up with those cockroaches. Let's just uh, wait for a bit here. Let's wait for one minute. Mm, ignore the spotted zombie. Uh-oh. Now that zombie's getting close. He's got full HP, but he just had to walk across that car. There we go. Cough syrup, a battery, and some cookies. Got a brainless zombie coming around the car, and the zombie runner hasn't seen me yet, and he's still down there headed toward the cockroaches. That brainless zombie is never going to come this direction either. Cockroach looks like he's headed to the north. He's going to intersect that runner. Let's wait a little bit while longer. No, here comes the brainless. He must be attracted to that sound. He can't get through the door, though. Now, come on around. Come around the car. Ah, he brainlessly wandering away. All right. Cockroach is definitely still coming north. He's attracted to one of these. He's going after the brainless, maybe. Then we got two more... Further to the south, one of them's wounded. Okay, I think we're in a good position right here. This is good. Let's let the situation develop. I'm looking for that runner to get involved with those cockroaches. Patrick Redux says, Wait, that cockroach needs to die. Oh, really, Patrick? Oh, well, I was going to let him fight the zombie, but you know I always listen to you. If you think that cockroach needs to die, what can I do except agree with you? I'm going to wind up fighting this zombie runner, though. Okay. There. We got the runner is fighting a cockroach, so I'm going to come down here and take care of this brainless. Oh, he grabbed me. <clears throat> he clawed at my left arm. I'm even bleeding. Holy crap. Uh, drop Patrick. And uh, put pressure on the wound. Wheel Patrick. The fat zombie climbs to his feet. Okay, that zombie runner, there must be more than one zombie runner, because this one here, he's not fighting a cockroach. He has seen me. The fat one is in the restaurant. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go back around the car here. See if I can get him to step on the vehicle. 
Oh no, it doesn't look like I'm going to get that lucky. He clawed at my torso but failed to penetrate. I knocked him back. Hmm. Battered him for 23. Ah, oh, he hit my left hand. Stop hitting my hands. I don't have any good gloves on. There he goes. That dude was a smoker. Hard to believe. Moving on to the wing mirror is slow. Oh, that's an obstacle I can put people over, huh? That brings us down to a zombie child I'd rather not kill. Alright, as far as items. What do we got here? Calcium tablets, vehicle parts. Several corpses, plus a cockroach corpse. Uh, lots of corpses. Corpse of a feral. Roach dirt. Marked pipe, wallets, clothing. By the tons. Telescoping umbrella, sheet, parasol. What else we got here? A great coat, a 10 gallon hat. Almost no good stuff, basically, in this vicinity, to be honest. All right, we're getting closer. He's right down there in that restaurant where all the cockroaches are. Can we get down there in the daylight? I'm going to approach. I'm going to make the approach. Three cockroaches spotted. I am not a big fan of trying to fight them, although they are wounded. This one is where? Okay, they're all inside the restaurant. Can I talk to the NPC from here? I can't speak without my face. Ah, oh, gosh, I hate to take my armor off and try it. Cockroach hits the fat zombie, but is stopped by its thick hide. Well, I can take out the fat zombie. If the fat zombie can take out the cockroaches, that'd be awesome. Four zombies total spotted. Are they all inside the building? Yeah, they sure are. Now, they've all seen me. Oh, a whole bunch of them have seen me. Holy moly. We're not seeing any more cockroaches. They may have killed the cockroaches by now. But they're attracted to the sounds of all this battle. Yep, now is not the time for me to run in there. I'm going to tell you that right now. They can all see me. I need to retreat to my battle location. Before I get swarmed. I head back this way. Two feral humans. Gary Mercado gets angry. Yeah, well, I bet he's angry. Dude, you've got the worst base infestation I have ever seen. But, you know, what do you expect from a guy who is absolutely not a... Okay, I'm starting to hear my... Uh, starting to hear my noise emitter. Feral humans wandering the streets right now. They don't seem to be attracted to the noise emitter, though, huh? Interesting. I think it's going to be safe for me to go ahead and hop in my fortified location. I don't see any monsters from right here. Well, yeah, I'm starting to hear my noise emitter now. Let's hop out here and take a look. Oh yeah. Well... Now, I'm hearing the noise, but I can't tell if there's any monsters on the noise, can I? Let's step into the alleyway. Go have a look. Oh, the zombie cop steps on a spiked board. Well, it had definitely attracted this zombie cop, who's almost dead from stepping on spike boards. Now, the zombie cop had some Stanag 5.56 NATO ammo on him. Guess we'll take that. And what else? An expandable baton, heavy-duty flashlight, and a two-way radio. Oh, look at all these. In his tech vest, he had a bunch of these 5.7 magazines. He got an individual patrol officer kit, which contained a bandage. I'll take that. I don't think I need... I'll take the medical gauze. I don't think I need the tourniquet. It must be my head that's warm. 
For some reason, my head is highlighted in red. Let's peek over here. Yeah, another zombie died in the area of the noise emitter, too. So this seems to be working. I don't want to... Try to stop the... Oh, my head is bleeding. That's what's bleeding. Uh, Drop Batrick real quick. Let's try to put pressure on our head. See if the bleeding will stop. There it goes. Alright, very good. So far, the noise emitter has only attracted two zombies to this area. I think we may need to drag it around. Just not doing a lot. Uh, don't, don't step on the spike board. I'm gonna go around here. And grab the noise emitter and turn it off. The infernal racket dies as the noise emitter turns off. Yeah, that didn't have nearly as much effect as I wanted it to, so we probably need to drag the nail boards down into that house right on the street, I think. Uh, to do that, I'm going to have to, uh, I think you examine. No, you uh, examine. Spiked board and disarm it. Examine that and disarm it. Examine that and disarm it. There's one more, I think. Yeah, examine and disarm. Okay. Then I should be able to move them all into a pile. This. That. And then we ought to be able to just drag them like so. There we go. Now, what's the best way to drag them in the house? We need to move these. I don't want to haul the planks while I'm hauling the boards. Stop hauling items. Alright, haul the boards this way. Try not to pick up any junk along the way. Yeah, this seems like a good area to trap them in. Zombie dog spotted. Stop moving items. How far is he? Uh-oh, tiny meat cocoons are developing, and I'll bet those tiny meat cocoons were caused by the cockroaches. That mean cockroaches are going to come out of them? Yuck. Uh, zombie dog hasn't seen me yet. Okay. So, we'll just do a little circle of uh, nail boards with the noise emitter on the other side. Make them come through the door, I think. Or should I put it outside the door? I want them to step in. Yeah, I want them to walk in and then amble around between the walls. Kind of stuck is what I'm thinking. So let's... Um, let's unwield Patrick. Store him in my inventory. I have the option to wear Patrick? Huh. He must attach to... Hold on. He must attach to the backpack. Let's see. If I take off Patrick now... No. If I unwield Patrick now and I select... Oops. Wield, Patrick. Wield, Patrick. Wear item. Oh, wear item is grayed out, actually. Okay, store in inventory. Now I want to wield the... Uh, stand over it. Wield the... Na, 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 na. Give me a... Okay, it's going to be zero. All right, wield one of these nail board traps, and then we will apply it in this direction. We'll put one there. Put one there. And then we'll put one here. Like so. Uh, actually, we'll just make a four square of them. Huh? Then I can't get to the bodies that are dead without stepping on something. You know what I mean? Uh, we could put it in that doorway, though. 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh, nope, don't step on that. Oh, no, I can't reach it now because of how I've done this. Okay, hold on. Drop that right here. Disarm that one. Wield it and apply it in that doorway. You can't place your nail board trap there. Oh, I can't put it in a window. All right, that's fine. Let's go with our previous plan then. Put that there. And then we'll put this one right here. Like so. Then I'll drop my noise emitter on the table right there in the corner, I guess. And then they'll wander in. Hey, can I put my noise emitter on a nail board trap? Let's, uh, let's turn on the noise emitter. You know what would be better, though? <laughs> if I could turn it on while it was down. That'd be nice. Anyway, let's turn it on. Then we're going to drop in that area right there. And I'm dropping it on the nail board trap in the corner there. Yeah. There, the noise emitter is literally sitting on a nail board trap. All right, let's wield Batrick in case we need him. And I'm going to clear out of the area for a minute. So if I go through this window, maybe I can watch what's going on from back here. Yeah, let's hang out here for a second. This will be interesting. Oh, wow. You know what, guys? That noise is going to get annoying for you. Uh, let's turn the desktop volume down a little bit. Or the... Uh, mm, turn the uh, desktop audio down. There we go. Okay. Maybe that won't be quite so bad. I don't see anybody being attracted to it. South of you, you hear clerk. We're not seeing any zombies stepping onto it, though. How long is it going to take them to be attracted to it? Come on, folks. Well, maybe this plan isn't going to work. I bet the ferals are ignoring it. The cockroaches might be ignoring it. All right, let's go shut it off. Can I shut it off from here? Yeah. Huh. I didn't get anybody interested. Mm. Dang it. I'm gonna disarm that spike trap. Disarm that spike trap. Let's take a step out and have a look. The only thing out here is a meat cocoon. Monsters spotted. Stop picking up. Yes. What am I, still hauling items? Two ferals. So the decayed zombie apparently wasn't interested. The fat zombie can see, can't see me. He's not interested. The meat cocoon's not interested. Well, shoot. All right, let's try to cross the street. Everybody's to the left. I'm just going to bear to the right over here. Oh, look. All the zombies are dead in there. Except for, the, say, these two fat ones. All right. I open the door. Oh! Armored feral. Clad in ancient armor and with a battle axe in hand, this maniac walks around in search of their next prey. You can see stains of dried blood all over their axe. Holy crap. Armored feral. Oh my god. Oh wow. Did I bring any guns? Did I bring my gun? Did I drop all my guns? Patrick, did you see my gun anywhere? I think I dropped all my guns while I was at home. All I've got is ammunition. Okay, 
Run for it. How fast is he? Not as fast as me. Okay, we're going to run across the street. I'm not going to run out of stamina. I'm not going to die to this armored feral. No, I am not. I'm going to get all the way across the street before my stamina runs out. Put the nail board traps back down. The armored feral disappears. Oh. Uh, here we go, here we go. I don't know if you heard that or not. Somebody mo uh, knocked on my door. Okay, we're back. We're back in it. And the armored feral disappears. Um, okay. That tells me maybe that armored feral was a hallucination. I'm going to go back into walk mode. And let's take a peek this way, like so. And let's take a view. Uh-huh. Looky there. It's actually a tough zombie. I don't think there was an armored feral. Boy, I got all their attention, though. They're all headed toward this location right here. They can all see me. Yeah, I think the armored feral was a hallucination. Um, okay. So the thing to do here, let's go ahead and see if I can rearm that trap and then escape the other way. If I uh, examine... Do I? No, I don't examine. Oh, crap. I have to pick the trap up and arm it if I have time to do that okay let's try it let's wield the nail board trap that's at my feet store Batrick let's apply the nail board trap in this direction okay we only got one of them down but I don't want to run out of time here and I'm gonna wield Batrick again okay now of course, what I've done is I've compromised my window to beat them in. But um, that's okay. We can beat them in the other window. I'm going to stand here and see if they start walking uh, onto... Wait until I catch my breath or somebody pops in through that window. I heard shuffling. Stop catching my breath. Gotten a little bit of my stamina back. Yep, here comes the tough zombie. So I'm going to retreat further into the house. He's beating on the door. I'm going to hop up on this counter, or into this chair. And he's going to come in and step on some nail boards. Now, he's already lost some HP, probably from battling cockroaches. And he stepped on a spike board. How much damage does that do? I don't know. None that I can really see, but it probably slowed him down some. Alright, I'm going to hop in the window, and out on the bush. Let him come to the window. Smash the Tufts for 24, and one more hit, and he's done. Now, I want to see if I can peek in through the window like this. I don't see any more monsters. But it's very, um, very stamina-consuming to crawl through that window and onto the chair, so I'm just going to wait a minute. There we go. Spotted a hazmat zombie. He's coming in now. Okay. Let's watch him. He's going to come in and step on a trap. That zombie's going to step on a trap. And we're in a great position to take care of these zombies as they come in. Come on in, my dear. Uh-oh. She spilled over into this area now. Okay. Let's see if I can hop off. She clawed at me, but I dodged. Let's see if I can take her out. There we go. Now the cop. So I'm going to back up one. Hmm. Oh, man. I should probably shouldn't have given up my spot next to the window. You hear a brush. You whack him. How's he doing? Minor bleeding. Probably a couple more whacks to take him out. Can I fall back to the garage? Not without losing move points myself. I could break off to the left. Then I'm going to get wind up trapped over there, or break off to the right. Maybe lure him through the sandbox? It might be the thing. Wing and a miss. He misses me. Battered him for 23. Heard a whack.
Yeah, I can always jump over the fence over here. Let's, uh, is this sandbox take some movement point? Not a lot of movement cost, but it is a little bit more movement cost. I'm gonna hop over here like this, let him walk into that. Yeah, he definitely slowed him down. Oop, that he got off of it. Take him out. There we go. Straw doll. Never seen one of those before. What the hazmat guy have on him? Potassium iodide and what's in the wallet? Cash card. All right, that should have been all the zombies that I saw pouring through the gap. Flyer fruit leathers. Take those. What this guy have? Pistachios. Smash him. Okay, we may have, uh, whoop, 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 don't step on the nail board. I need to disarm that nail board. There we go. Smash these bodies. Two feral humans spotted. Do they see me? They can't see me. Those are the ones that are way off to the left still. Zombie medic, huh? Zombie medic, way off to the left. Shambling corpse dressed like a medical professional. Uh, dressed like a medical professional that he would play on TV, apparently. Alright, they're too far away to see me, so theoretically, if I head off to the right here, they're not going to see me at all. Get around this car. Left, left, they're above me to the left. Okay, none of them have seen me. You know, I'm kind of digging this whole go by daylight thing. You can see them at a good distance. All right. Five zombies now. Uh oh, one of them's within 10 tiles. Oh, here we go. We got one more in the house. And we've got a bunch more to the south pouring in. Look at all these things. Good grief. I wonder if I could get to the house without being seen. Some of them are kind of far to the south. If not, all right, let's see. Yeah, see, I'm obscured now just by getting up against that wall. And the other zombie's far enough away, he hasn't seen me. So, I'm going to hug this wall. He grabs me, I knock him back, and I take him out. Political name t-shirt. <laughs> Alright, from here I see no monsters. Let's see if we can get inside now, finally. Zombie dog, 13 tiles to the southwest. Yep. Uh, he's in bad shape. I think we can take the dog. I'm going to get over here by this desk. The dog coming? Okay. And it's just him. Think. Yep. That one, hostile. Can't see me. Very wounded. Dog's wounded. I think we're okay here. Let the dog come over that and get rid of him. I think we should pulp these cockroaches. Uh oh. That zombie hasn't seen me yet. Hold on before we pulp the cockroaches. Have a look at the situation. <clears throat> she hasn't seen me because I think I'm standing actually in some darkness here. If we look further to the south, what do we have? This is a house that's been smashed to bits. The only visible zombie is her right now. Hmm. If I look at my map, am I on top of where the Pizziello is? Yeah, Gary Mercado, probably right above me. Um, go have a look at the damage here. Is this a trap? Uh, it's a pile of rubble, blood stains, roach dirt. I think these hatch roaches, by the way, but I don't know how to get rid of it. I just want to talk to Gary for a minute. I just want to talk to Gary. Eight tiles to the southeast. Yeah, she's there. Where's she going to go? Oh, she's wandering toward me now. She sees me. Yeah, I'll just bring her across this desk like I did the dog, I think. Oh, she lost me. Uh-oh, there's another dog, too. Uh, nope, not in good shape. 
These are resurrected dogs, probably killed by the cockroaches at some point. And now they're back. Okay, where's the other dog? There was another one. Smash that, smash that. Thought I saw another dog. Do you smash roach dirt? No. Okay, we got some kind of pizzeria kitchen here. Is the way up? There he is. But I can't chat without my face. Okay. Let's close this door for some privacy. Let me put on my food person mask so I can talk to this guy. I'm going to take off my safety glasses and take off my helmet. And wear my food person mask. Okay. Can I chat now? Yep, I can. Gary Mercado, the Pizzaiello. He says, well met. I said, what was the cataclysm like for you? He says, I'm just a regular Pizzaiello. My father was a Pizzaiello, my grandfather was a Pizzaiello, and I also became a Pizzaiello. I was making pizza my whole life until some American clowns ruined my business. I couldn't do anything about this, but now, with the cataclysm and the living dead around, I have a chance to get my revenge. Hmm. How did you survive the cataclysm? Oh, I already asked him that. I'm sorry. Oh, how did you make it through the initial chaos? Oh, it's all the same. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, do you need any help? I have a job for you. Do you want to hear about it? Oh, why not? I'm so goddamn angry. I have an enemy that ruined my life, and I want revenge for it. I don't care about the apocalypse. I just want to burn his fucking restaurant. Will you help me? I'll do it. Good. Let's go to his restaurant and freaking burn it. Oh, by the way, could you bring gasoline with you, lad? I was so angry I forgot to bring it with me. Mmm, not a problem. I don't have any more jobs for you. Okay. Um, is that it? Uh, let's check our missions. Angry Pizzaiolo, find some gasoline, travel to the destination to nick together with the Pizzaiolo. So I gotta have gasoline with me so that he'll go with me. And the target coordinates are not that far from here, about 60, but that's a lot in the city. Let's see where we're talking about here. Oh, oh, oh my god, what? Wait, no, this is further than I thought. It's all the way. Is this city the whole way? Holy cow. I need to get some gasoline to get the angry Pizzaiolo on my team. And then, I don't know how long it's going to take us to be able to go that far through this city, dude. Holy smokes. Hey, listen, before I go, um... Be patient, pal. We're getting there soon are the only two options I've got. He really wants to burn that building. All right. Well, nice restaurant you got here. I guess it doesn't have an upper story. All right. Okay. Take off the food person mask. Wear the safety glasses and wear the bike helmet. And uh, I think we just need to get the hell home. This guy's out of his mind. Wait, is he with me? He's following me. Um. Hmm. I almost think we have a recruit on our hands here. He says, hold on, I want to pulp that bruised corpse of a cockroach. I can't speak without my face, which is going to be a problem, but I, he doesn't seem to be taking my orders anyway. Oh, what do we got out here? I didn't notice all this. Uh, don't step into that. Smash that. What is going on out here? Um, got a bunch of junk. And... Mangled corpse of a zombie runner. Bruised corpse of a zombie dog. Skeletal dog. Cockroach. It's just a bloodbath down here. Corpse of a zombie runner. Uh-huh. Okay, so he wants to pulp all the corpses, huh? Is that a hose? It's a rubber hose. I think I've got several of those already, though. What do you got in here? 
comic book. Mm -hmm. Dude, you're going to want to come back to my base. It is really dangerous out here. Here, I'll smash that corpse for you. I think he's still on a corpse smashing vendetta. Does anybody have any items of note? That's a guy wearing a hard hat, and um, this person has a crowbar. I've already got a crowbar. Uh, dude? Here, no. Uh, let's see if I can lead him away from the carnage. Will he follow me? Smash that, smash that. You know, if I expose myself to that southerly direction, more zombies are going to see me. Hey, come on, Pizziello. That zombie to the south, right. Come on. Follow me up here. This is the way to go safely. Yeah, here he comes. So I haven't recruited him as a follower, but he is following me. Sort of. Come on, Gary. When we get back, I'll try putting my face back on, and maybe we can talk some more. Uh, what's the best way to go around? Should I go through this house or around it? I don't think it matters now because I pretty much killed everything in the way. Come on, Gary, catch up. Oh, of course he can't hear me because I have no face. Hey, this is cool, though. Two food people. Hanging together. Both of us on some kind of vendetta. Zombie child, 50 tiles to the northeast. Yeah, you see the carnage they wrought on my part of the neighborhood, Pizziallo? I'm not too happy about this either. But I want to, uh, I don't know who's responsible. At least you know who to, uh, who's responsible for your vendetta. And let me tell you, it must be really comforting to know exactly upon whom you want to uh, get your revenge. I, on the other hand, am looking for the mastermind behind this attack. Do you think it's the same person? Possible. This way, Pizziallo. I want you to come up here and calm down. Yeah, come here. My restaurant's up here. Ignore the wasp nest, okay? These are the stairs. See if you can use them. There you go. That's a man. Now come this way. I may have to lock you in for your own safety later, but I can appreciate your axe-wielding maniacal um, uh, attitude. I'm going to take off the bike helmet and take off the safety glasses again and wear the food person mask again. See this? This is me in my true form and my true environment. Welcome to my hideout. It's a food place where their goal is something like nutrition. So if I chat, all we've got is be patient, buddy. He can't wait to burn that building. So we can't give him orders. Okay. That's really too bad. Maybe we can after we burn that building. Where are the safety glasses? Okay. Uh, yeah. You know, whenever I'm leaving from now on, I'm going to lock you in. Because I'm worried about you. Very worried about you. Let's uh, drop off and sort all of our stuff. Uh, we need to re-favorite Batrick Redux. And we want to favorite our leg warmers, safety glasses, and sweater, which has been keeping us warm. The food person mask, I guess we'll keep it favorited. I'm about thinking we could drop the hacksaw, but I carry it around out of habit. The noise emitter, not that handy, but I'm going to keep it for emergencies. Um, bandages have already been favorited, but what we'll do is I'll favorite the five and I'll unfavorite the one. That way if I need to... And we'll favorite the alcohol wipes. Yeah, okay. Potassium iodide, I'm not sure what that's for. And you know what? We're going to favorite the cash card with the most money on it. What is the straw doll? Is this anything? Yeah, it's just a regular doll. Okay. And we'll drop everything else. And we'll sort everything. Alright, very good. Well, due to having been interrupted before, 
uh, while I was trying to record, I really have kind of lost track of where we're at in this episode as far as time goes. So I think I'm going to wrap the episode up here, guys, and uh, take some time to think about what my next move is. I have a sidekick, but he's got a mind of his own. But nonetheless, I think it's, uh, you know, really going to help me. Maybe, if he's not, like, uh, too much of a hot dog. Um, two of us trying to clear this city. Probably better than one. Um, so everybody meet my sidekick, Gary Mikado, the Pizzialo. We didn't think he was real, but he is. Alright, thanks for joining me for this episode, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.